A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to some more Ark. And yeah, looks like I basically just tied, and as a result, looks like I have to play through a lot of stuff again, so. I'm very sorry, you guys. I'm gonna have to try my best to go find my stuff, if I can find it, so. Let's just pretty much see what happens here, and we'll also try to find wherever I last died. I mean, there's usually a green column of light that would show up as a way to tell us exactly where on Earth my stuff would be anywhere in this map. So at this point in time, we'll certainly see what pretty much happens. And you know what, though? I'm also more than excited about what there is to come based on what the channel work happens to be about. So... Looks like I got my stuff back. I mean, I got myself the creative mode stuff put together here. Yeah, of course I had to go switch to creative mode every now and then. Because I just can't seem to find a boatload of whatever stuff I had before then. So, I guess that that's just pretty much what that is about. So, right now it is... Uh, pretty big process kind of lengthy to put together everything that i've ever had here but to have all the bullets and all that that i've gotten the guns i've gotten the launchers i've gotten chainsaw flamethrower armor everything that i've ever had here so yeah it just looks like right here and to go type in in the text and i'm very sorry that the playstation's official sort of like text thing the keyboard and all that doesn't actually show up while in the recording process on here. So I really do apologize if that's just basically what does not show up. But at least I do happen to find some of my stuff here. So this way I can at least get back towards a partial sort of completion to where I originally was. And now, basically speaking, we have flamethrower ammo. Start with the handgun, then the assault rifle. Then we have the shotgun, rocket launcher, sniper rifle, flamethrower, and chainsaw, pretty much. And, of course, there are some others as well, but we will have to uh, see if we can find those as well. So, of course, what we have here is basically some of these materials and some of these other ones here. But, yet, we do have a variety of other good things to keep hold of for some time and attachments of all sorts that we'll also have to keep in handy including the laser attachment the scope attachment that will also be able to add on to the various firearms that i've gotten a hold of so you really take a look over here and see where that basically takes place got the sniper rifle loaded up and ready to rumble here and then we're going to have other weapons also ready to go load the shotgun up with six slug shells and then get ourselves the other various weapon there weaponry ammo and all that so this way we can be fully set you get the armor get the spear bolts including the the regular and the tranquilizer ones so there we go we got the armor put together it's usually riot gear like this and then of course you really gotta worry about okay so there's the there's the harpoon pretty much there's the rocket launcher there's the chainsaw i gotta get gasoline for that thing and then of course we have the flamethrower ammo pretty much so it's all ready to go then and here we have the map pretty much which i can use to put up the house that i typically go to on this particular map pack that I was able to download for free. And the game itself sure does have a lot of abundance when it comes to variety in terms of how amazing ideas happen to be. I mean, you got the island itself, which circumnavigates the main storyline, the one that is specifically focused on when referring to the arc related canon. And then, of course, when you take a look at the arc's official wiki page, you'll get to understand a lot of the lore that happens to take place a lot of things that are worth knowing about when it comes to playing the game so this will help you to truly understand exactly well first of all i survived a huge fall right there so 
at this point in time, well, like I said, so you can pretty much tell right off the bat that there are a ton of various things out there that I will, in fact, need to put together here. And there's one of the obelisks in the distance. And I can also see right here that, well, we got stuff that we'll need to do here. And, well, I guess something else I'll probably do here will be to go swim in the water. So, here we go, pretty much. Let's go get the harpoon out of there if we can. And see if we can get ourselves a good path here. So, this way we don't have to worry too much about what kind of what kind of animals will pretty much be underway. And here we go. Pulling out the machete because I just fired at a Bacinosaurus and a bunch of mantas that were clinging onto him are now mad that I attacked the Bacillosaurus. And now they're coming after me to try and kill me. But yet, here we go. Here we go. Looks like I killed some of them. I also got one of the, oh goodness. And there's still more of them. There's more of them even, okay. But what about the Bacillosaurus itself? Woohoo, yeah, one shot, one kill on that one there. So, this is the Bacillosaurus, oh, there it is. I'm really glad that I'm able to keep a hold on to it because otherwise, who even knows what could happen. So, there we go, got it. And now I'm gonna be able to try and harvest whatever comes out of it, pretty much. That, of course, will include things like oil and fish meat. Oh, gosh. And there's more mantas coming around me like, it. I don't even know what else to say about it, so. Also gonna try and find other creatures that I can basically go hunt and kill. So. It does look, gosh, look, freaking piranhas like always coming after me and just trying to kill me. These piranhas are like Taku size. They're not regular freaking piranha size. Like what the heck? They're more like the Paku fish, for crying out loud, Paku piranhas. And, yeah, they're the ones that have the kind of teeth we have. So, that's just pretty much what that is. So. All right, we got ourselves tons of stuff that we'll need to throw out here, including the prime meat. Yeah, because the prime meat is not gonna be very usable for, well, at least for what I have right now. So, a bunch of shoney sores. Yep. It looks like we got ourselves a Megalodon. Wow. Oh, looks like I missed it, too. And I killed the Megalodon. Haha. -ha. It only took a few shots, but oh man, there's another one. Alright. Killed another Meg. Huh. And it does seem like there's probably going to be more coming towards me, so. Oh, wow. Oh man. How am I going to be able to comprehend that? Like, this is amazing. So. Here we go. Head to head. Oh. Oh. He tried to attack me. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh. And, uh, looks like I'm going to have to find my way up to the surface soon if I'm going to go find my own house. But at this point in time, thank you guys very much for watching. And do be sure to keep a lookout for whatever content I have down the line.